Now on this special edition of 4 News Now, the Florida Panthers have taken a 2-0 series lead over the Edmonton Oilers. We'll have highlights from Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals in just a few minutes. The winds will pick up again tomorrow. I'll tell you about the cooler air they're blowing in for Wednesday in your first alert forecast. Plus, what an accused gunman's YouTube live stream reveals about an alleged attack on Spokane's homeless. You're watching a special edition of 4 News Now. Just because people are homeless or on drugs doesn't make them a lesser person. I believe you to be evil by your videos with malice in your heart. That was the emotional testimony from the older brother of a man who Spokane police say was shot near 2nd and Division on Friday. Spokane County court documents show that the shooting suspect, 36-year-old Hoyt Webb, also confessed to live streaming that shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Derek Dice. The live stream posted on Webb's YouTube account shows the moments leading up to the shooting and Webb's arrest after pulling the trigger. Here's where the shooting happened on Friday, just after 7 p.m. near the intersection of 2nd and Division in downtown Spokane. Our Hunter Bertram with why Webb was live streaming and the impact this has on our homeless community. This photo is from the live stream showing Webb armed with a gun strapped to his chest. Webb claims in a police interview when he arrived to the area, he got out of his car and said he saw a man with a machete. Instead of leaving the area, Webb went back to his car and grabbed his gun. He's harmless, man. Josh is a friend of the victim shot on Friday. Police say two bullets discharged from Hoyt Webb's gun, one hitting Josh's friend armed with an almost empty cup of iced coffee. That's disgusting. Josh was nearby when the shooting happened. He captured Webb being arrested and his friend lying on the ground fighting for their life. I hope he has some epiphanies in jail. I hope he has some time to think about what he did and the fact that like he really did hurt somebody who was harmless and innocent. According to court documents, Webb confessed to yelling at people and calling them names, which led to an argument between Webb and several individuals. Buy me Shortly after that, conflict erupted around the block. Drop the rock! Know that I am here. Burn my face into your brain. I'm not going anywhere. Said the brother of the man shot. Here's that uh, you specifically went to this particular location for your own entertainment. Webb has a YouTube channel named Kootenai County Press, where he goes into public places and confronts people, initiating arguments. And that's what he did on Friday. He claims to have been documenting the Spokane homeless crisis. You don't go around waving a gun around and a camera, you know. That's that's totally counterproductive. Webb has been charged with first degree assault. Josh also added that members of this area's community rushed in after the gunshot to help the victim and keep the shooter from running. Webb's bond is set at $75,000. His arraignment is set for June 25th at 9 a.m. In studio, Hunter Bertram for News Now. Thank you, Hunter. Straight now to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker with your first alert forecast. Well, it got a little bit breezy this afternoon, but the winds have really died down around the region. We're not seeing the stronger gusts and generally 10 miles per hour or less, and that trend will continue, but they're going to be picking up again tomorrow by noon, 25 mile per hour gusts, and by tomorrow evening, 35 mile per hour gusts around Spokane with even higher gusts in portions of the Columbia Basin. Here's a look at our forecast wind gusts starting off Tuesday morning early, already getting breezy by noon. A cold front, a dry cold front coming through that's going to pick up those winds in the afternoon and evening. You can see 45 mile per hour gusts in Grand Coulee, also some higher gusts in Moses Lake, Ritzville, as well as Pullman and Lewiston. Now behind that front, we have some cooler weather for Wednesday, but tomorrow temperatures are going to be running more than 10 degrees above average. In in many locations, including 83 in Spokane, 80 degrees in Coeur d'Alene with blue skies and sunshine. I'll be back to let you know how much it is going to cool down and if there's any wet weather in the seven day forecast in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thanks, Chris. And you just watched the Florida Panthers take a 2-0 series lead in the Stanley Cup final against the Edmonton Oilers. While game one had very little drama, tonight provided a lot more, at least until the final minutes, right? Yeah, you kind of figured the Oilers 
Oilers would come out as the more desperate team after they failed to score on Saturday night. But let's just get to it. We head out about an hour north of Miami to Sunrise, Florida. In the first period, we're scoreless, but Edmonton with a three-on-one opportunity. Matthias Ekholm gets this puck past uh, Sergei Bobrovsky. The game's first goal in the Oilers' first lead of this final. The score would remain the same until the second period when Ianton Lundell drops it off to Nico McCola and he finishes to tie this game up. So something has to give at this point and that comes in the first few minutes of the third. Evan Rodriguez has his pass deflected, gets it right back and finds the top right corner of the net to break the tie and Florida goes on to take game two by a score of four to one. Just two wins away from hoisting the cup now. So the series will shift 3,000 miles away up to Edmonton, Canada for game three on Thursday night. That'll be the first time our friends up north are hosting a Stanley Cup final in three years. So pretty exciting from there. And you can catch that game right here on KXY ABC. All right, Alex, thank you. Long trip. <laughs> While child care costs are through the roof, a program in Spokane is offering free money that can help and you may qualify for it. One single mom in Spokane says she remembers paying about $400 a month to send her daughter to daycare. Ten years later, she's paying $1,400 to send her son. And child care advocates at local daycares say that's what many middle class families are expected to pay. But it is our middle income families that are suffering and that are making those hard decisions of do I invest in my child's future and if I do, which one do I invest in? This program is designed to help you pay for months of child care. Hundreds of Spokane families are already getting this free money and we want you to apply before it expires. Watch my special report tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. It was just chaos. Still ahead, another traffic nightmare on Spokane's South Hill will help you plan alternative routes to keep you on time. Coming up after the break. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. Drink a watermelon moonshine. Oh, Lord, when you raise the The big 99.9 Coyote Country. Bath fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs. Guaranteed for life. Bath that has been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter. It just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lyman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and my entire practice is dedicated to taking care of patients with knee problems. From ACL and meniscus tears to total knee replacements, I want to make sure you're ready for life's adventures. I'm here to help you master your knee pain and regain your active lifestyle. Visit me at the Orthopedic Sports Institute's new state-of-the-art surgery center in Hayden. Ready to take the first step? Call for a consultation today and let me help guide you to a pain-free future. Call or click today and set up your consultation with Orthopedic Sports Institute. Child care costs through the roof. I'm Kirsten O'Connor with 4 News Now. As a working mom, I know firsthand how expensive child care can be. But I found free money that can help, and you may qualify too. Watch tomorrow on Good Morning Northwest. Watch your mailbox. Banner Furnace and Fuel's 100-year anniversary is on now. With thousands of dollars of home comfort savings, big furnace and air conditioning rebates, home comfort system service specials, even Guardian Maintenance Plan incentives that save you money and provide peace of mind. If you didn't get the new Banner Furnace and Fuel 100-year savings mailer, call today and we'll send one right out. Banner Furnace and Fuel, keeping families comfortable for over 100 years. Banner if there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150.
day long, cars have been stuck bumper to bumper along 29th Avenue on the South Hill. City crews are paving 29th between Ray and Ivory, closing the intersection of 29th and Regal. Some drivers told us they were stuck in traffic for 40 minutes. Detours are in place on Rockwood or Southeast if you need to go north or south. Grand and Ray are open going north and south as well. Bronte Sarotsky explains how long this will last and how drivers are holding up. It's been a traffic nightmare for drivers trying to get to the South Hill on Monday. Now, as the city asks for patience, people here say that patience is wearing thin. It was just chaos. A mess of cars as drivers had to wait up to 40 minutes just trying to get around the South Hill. This driver opting to walk instead. Then I walked a couple of miles here to get one thing from the dollar store and now I have to walk a couple miles back to my car. This restaurant even had a sign on its door closing for the day due to traffic. It's all part of the city's construction projects along 29th. This is really a great way to preserve the health of our streets. One of the better ways that we can keep them going for years on end rather than having to go in and redo this um, all the time. Now the city is paving 29th between Ray and Ivory, closing 29th and Regal all the way up to 34th. I will I wish that this wasn't happening, obviously. Uh, I hope that they can maybe hurry up. But the city's public works department says despite how drivers may feel right now, getting to the paving process is actually good news. Well, it's going to be even slower than normal because we have to follow, you know, those machines are moving very slowly and there's just and they're big. Now drivers will only have to deal with these headaches a little bit longer. This entire project is expected to wrap up by mid-July. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now. In Spokane Valley, crews are working to reduce this section of Sprague Avenue around City Hall from five lanes down to three. Here is what it will look like when the project is all done. You can see the city wants to add a mid-block crosswalk with its own dedicated traffic signal. The city also wants to improve the bike lane as well as the bus stop. 81 degrees today, almost 10 degrees above our average high of 72 and still some time to enjoy this beautiful evening, 848 our sunset time. There's cooler weather coming in the seven day forecast. I'll let you know what to expect after the break. Live stream KXLY plus on the 4 News Now app. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens. They're lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is. Except my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Oh, sorry. You've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. I'm Chad Young from the Easy Home Buyer, and I pay cash for houses. If you own a house and want to sell it fast for cash, call us today for your no obligation as is cash offer. We buy houses in any condition, and there are no fees, no commissions, and no repairs. We buy houses with tenants, fixer uppers, bare land, even haunted houses. Woo! Call us today or visit us online at theeasyhomebuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home. Depression and anxiety rob millions of us of our day-to-day -day lives, but nothing seems to pull you out of it. Introducing NeuroStim TMS, Washington's leading provider of transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS therapy. TMS activates the natural function of the brain's neurotransmitters to improve mood and regulate emotion. TMS is not shock therapy. It's an FDA-approved, easy outpatient experience and covered by all major medical insurances. Visit NeuroStimTMS.com or call to schedule your free consultation now. Interested in updating your home? Then listen to what people say about the great prices at Carpet Barn. They always give us a good price, so we like that. We've they heard good things about Carpet Barn. Uh, they were in our budget. <laughs> we loved it. We came in here and got great service. They had a really good selection. I liked the prices. The staff was helpful. And they can install very quickly. It was a good buying experience. Come in and see the great buys on carpet, luxury vinyl plank, and hardwood at Carpet Barn. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. 
like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Are y'all ready? This spring, Kelly's all new. Watch Kelly Clarkson weekdays at 3. Beautiful evening across the inland northwest, 77 in Spokane and partly cloudy, 70 degrees with mostly clear skies right now in Coeur d'Alene. Four things to know about your weather. We have a cold front coming through Tuesday. It's going to be a dry day and sunny, but breezy, especially in the afternoon and evening. And then a drop in our temperatures for Wednesday. Lots of sun in the forecast. No rain until possibly Sunday and Monday. But even at that, it doesn't look that good. Our weather pattern right now, we have a ridge of high pressure that is going to be challenged by an approaching cold front that will flatten our ridge and give us more of a westerly flow. So we'll keep the breezy conditions going for Wednesday and also cooler weather. Then our ridge rebounds a little bit for Thursday and our temperatures start to warm up. And then that upper level trough starts coming in for the weekend and that's going to drop our temperatures again, bring the chance of some mountain showers on on Saturday and possibly some rain down in the valleys on Sunday and Monday. Here's a look at our temperature trend. The white line is our average high will be above average by quite a bit tomorrow. Then a pretty good drop still above average through Friday and then we drop down into the 60s for the weekend and into early next week. But again, a lot of sunshine to go along with those temperatures all the way through Sunday and Monday. We're looking at partly cloudy skies and just a 20% chance of showers. What we really need, less wind, less 80s, some precipitation. Uh, hopefully something will develop out of that 20% between now and Sunday. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, expensive policing equipment up in flames in Coeur d'Alene. Why local police say it won't affect your safety coming up. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Elegance, style, quality, custom made for your project. Agalite shower doors and bath enclosures by River City Glass are designed for a lifetime of use. Timeless beauty that speaks for itself with superior quality and exceptional value. Offering exquisite custom wine room enclosures and office room glass. Specializing in custom mirrors crafted to fit your space. Producing high performance glass for every project, residential and commercial. River City Glass. The festival at Sandpoint is back for its annual summer series from July 25th through August 4th. Headliners include Colby Calais and Gavin DeGraw, Marin Morris, Lee Bryce, Blues Traveler, Trombone Shorty with Big Boy, and more. Come check out the festival at Sandpoint from July 25th through August 4th. Tickets are selling fast. Get yours today at festivalatsandpoint.com. Do you want to get paid to have an adventure? Get your passport to Dining Adventure from Adam Hegstead's Eat Good Group and earn a $20 gift card. Eat at just four of our locations before June 30th and you'll earn a $20 gift card. Eat at six restaurants and you'll be entered to win a $500 gift card. Each location is a different adventure featuring top chefs, quality fresh ingredients and locally inspired menus from around the globe. Whether you're trying something new or re-experiencing one of your favorites, pick up your passport at any Eat Good restaurant today. hanging strips hold strong and remove cleanly. Command. Do no harm. Are you ready to light it up, Spokane? Experience the all-new Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Glow Party, featuring outrageous monster trucks action, including the electrifying freestyle motocross, spectacular laser lights, and the fire-breathing transforming robot, Transaurus. Plus the pre-show VIP and crash zone before each performance. And kid seats start at just $12. Come watch your favorite Hot Wheels Monster Truck toys come to life. 22nd and 23rd at Spokane Arena. Tickets available at SpokaneArena.com. Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Catch it on the upper right. 
A mobile dental clinic is up and running now in Spokane. This dentist's office on wheels is working to fill the health care gap in the state. Our Alexandra Conyarts explains the services it provides and how you can access them. The Smile Mobile is focused on providing dental care to underserved communities who might not have access to health care necessities. They are here outside of the Salvation Army until the 14th of June. Thanks, you're doing a great job. Dr. Opening. Paul Phillips has been treating patients with Smile Mobile for almost 30 years. His favorite part? Just helping the patients. Uh, a lot of our patients are uh, really in, in need or really just desiring to make a change in, the, in their oral health. Smile Mobile works to bring dental care to people who don't have easy access to it, addressing the high demand for this kind of care in the state. We tried to get it through like traditional means, through CHAZ and whatnot, and we just haven't had a lot of luck. Adair Mohan visited the clinic after not being able to get dental care for her and her son. She had suffered from pain and was finally able to get the care she needed. Throughout the state of Washington, the public assistance program um, sees some patients, but unfortunately, it's it's a program which is is really heavily loaded with uh, patient demand. The clinic offers referrals to local providers and services in order to provide long-lasting care. In communities, we see the same kids uh, year after year, and that's really rewarding because we do a lot of prevention work with the kids, especially. You can find information to schedule your appointment on our website at kxly.com. In Spokane, Alexandra Coneyards, 4 News Now. Well, still ahead, a fire destroys a building belonging to the Coeur d'Alene Police Department. What caused millions of dollars of equipment to go up in flames? Next. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Will went all in for wellness. Patty painted the town red. What would you do with extra cash? The Department of Revenue returns missing money to Washingtonians every day. Easily find and claim yours at claimyourcash.org. Life's better when you're under our roof. Your policy's updated. Because we know your house is where their dreams begin. <gasps> Impressive. Thanks, Caleb. And our agents are here. No! <gasps> to help you feel protected so your family can pursue their dreams. Hey. Bundle life and save up to 25% on home and auto. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Four News Now and STCU are teaming up to highlight and congratulate high school and college graduates. Send us a photo of your senior and 10 lucky students will be chosen to win a $50 gift card from STCU. Enter your senior photo today at kxly.com. Click It RV's lowest price guarantee sale going on now at your neighborhood Click It RV. Be a winner like me and get the Click It RV. With zero down and no payments till October, now is the time to own your dream RV. Get the Click It RV now. Are you going to be mad, bro? Get never before deep, deep discounts on trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and motorhomes. Plus the best selection, highest trading value as ever, and a lifetime warranty. Nobody beats the discounts at Click It RV. I'm Richard Sherman and we guarantee it. One mile past the Y and Newport Highway. You're building a home or updating an existing one. You want windows and patio doors to be strong, beautiful, long-lasting, and durable. Want to express creativity and increase your home's curb appeal? To feel secure in your investment. Choose Milgard Windows and Patio Doors from River City Glass. Industry leaders with the highest quality materials and windows that are backed by a lifetime warranty. Residential and commercial, Milgard Windows and Patio Doors. Call River City Glass or visit their showroom at 6615 East Main. Charred wood, burnt SWAT cars, and debris is all that's left of a Coeur d'Alene police building. That building caught fire yesterday morning and is considered a total loss. This building housed SWAT cars and equipment, police e-bikes, and a lot more. The Idaho State Fire Marshal's office is still investigating what started it. Marissa Rio tells us the estimated cost in losses and how this will affect public safety. 
It's been over 24 hours since this police building behind me caught fire and you can still smell the smoke behind me. You can see officials working inside the burnt building to take inventory of all that was lost. The Coeur d'Alene Fire Department says approximately 30 firefighters battled these flames Sunday morning for over three hours before it was fully extinguished. And this is the aftermath. An official with the Coeur d'Alene Police Department doesn't think anything is salvageable. As officials work to take inventory of all that was lost, a sergeant tells 4 News Now that the estimated cost and losses is likely in the millions. While the department does have insurance, it is still unknown how much it will cover. So how much will this cost taxpayers? But it's really early to tell. Um, there's so much equipment in that building that we're really in the preliminary stages of just trying to get to gather an inventory of everything that was in there um, and try to try to just start to piece it back together. As for how this will affect public safety, Sergeant Renault says operations will still run with minimal interruption, if any. The department is able to rely on surrounding agencies like the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office to borrow equipment if needed. Coeur d'Alene police hope to begin replacing what they lost as soon as possible. In Coeur d'Alene, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. We are in the final months of the Pac-12 conference <laughs> as we know it. But that doesn't necessarily mean Washington State and Oregon State will go quietly into the night, Alex. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment as there are no more games to look forward to in the Conference of Champions, but never say never for the future. Coming up in sports, hear from the interim athletic director on how they plan to rebuild the conference. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Get moving with Dan the Moving Man. You might know us as Dan the Piano Man, but times they're a changing. When it comes to piano moving, service, and storage, we're a local legend. And now we bring the same skills that built our reputation to every household move we make. Big moves, small moves, modern furniture, priceless heirlooms. For almost 50 years, our neighbors have trusted us with their treasures. We'll make your move easy and stress-free. Call today for a free estimate. Dan the Moving Man, 509-922-1085. The Medellin Falls Bigfoot Festival returns to Ponderay County June 15th and 16th. Discover the rich history, folklore, and mystery. From Sasquatch-themed crafts to Bigfoot merchandise, a 5K fun run, and plenty of food, this event is guaranteed to leave you amazed and entertained. Hear from the county's experts about their Bigfoot sightings or sign up for the presenter's dinner and talk with them firsthand. The Medellin Falls Bigfoot Festival. For tickets and information, go to mf-bigfoot.com. Backyard barbecues, family gatherings, now is the best time to visit Jacobs Custom Living. New furniture has arrived and Jacobs really has the largest and most varied inventory ever. Comfortable lounge furniture, elegant outdoor dinner sets, umbrellas, and much more. Hurry in and experience for yourself the high quality outdoor furniture at Jacobs Custom Living that will make your deck, patio, or cabin a wonderful place for gatherings all summer long. On Sprague, just east of Sullivan. I think I'm gonna go with a nine iron. I'd suggest a seven. No. Oh. Did you know that if a bird picks up your ball, you gotta follow it? Oh, there it is. I think it's to the right. Nah. Is this it? Nope, not it. Four, four, four. Can I be frank? At STCU, we're always here to advise and consult, even if you wanna go at it your own way. Let's see what you've got, Frank. I think we should talk. STCU business. Partner up. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. What you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Watch live with Kelly and Mark, weekdays at 9 a.m. Well, you probably missed this, but last night in College Station, Texas, the Oregon Ducks blew a huge lead to Texas A&M in the baseball Super Regionals, sending the Aggies to Omaha. And that loss for the Ducks also marks the final game for a Pac-12 program in the conference as we know it. Now, contrary to popular belief, the Pac-12 
isn't going anywhere, but come August 2nd, the conference will, will be down to just two schools, Oregon State and Washington State. And while those programs have temporary homes in the WCC and the Mountain West Conference, the ultimate goal is to rebuild the pack, and that may take a couple of years. Of course, WSU and OSU will need another conference, like, say, the ACC, for example, to implode on itself to get this process started. But interim athletic director Ann McCoy says they will approach this the same way they did with Pac-12 expansion. I think it's really finding um, institutions that are like-minded, um, you know, perhaps geographically, um, you know, similar, whatever, whatever the parameters may be that are important going forward, and then determining if that's the best option um, for the Pac-12 to rebuild, for the Pac-12 to rebuild with Washington State and or Oregon State as, you know, member schools. There are so many different possibilities, I feel like, but I think that'll be important, no different than what Washington State is doing. The Pac-12 will do as well and, and determine what, what their priorities are and how possible you know new member institutions could could fit those and while the conference will be 12 teams until august 2nd the pac-12 network will go dark on june 30th so obviously a bittersweet moment here as the end of the pac-12 as we know it comes to but like i said if the acc implodes and florida state and clemson decide to just dip that could be a grand opportunity. And you hate to root for other conferences' downfalls, mm. but that's you kinda kinda have the to. only way yeah. it's going to work out yeah. for you here in the near future. So. Yeah. All right, we'll be right back after the break. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, it's too expensive to remodel your bath. Fact, with Bath Fitter's hundreds of design options, you'll get the bath you want to fit your budget. Fiction, bath remodels take forever and tear the house apart. Fact, bath fitter installation takes just one day to fit your schedule. Get the bath that fits you. Bath fitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. for you today from the Sweet Palace in Phillipsburg, Montana. Every life lost to an opioid overdose is a big deal, especially to the friends, families, and communities left behind. But one small act can make a big difference. Naloxone or Narcan can reverse an overdose from opioids, including fentanyl. Almost every time it's used, naloxone saves a life. When they carry and use naloxone, friends save friends, brothers save sisters, parents save their kids. And that's huge. Find Naloxone and learn how to use it at wafriendsforlife.org. My name is Bob Rambo, and this is my Summit Cancer Center story. I had lymphoma. I was kind of scared to death, and the doctors recommended I go to Summit Cancer Center. Everybody on the staff there is super neat, nice, and it's kind of like a, a homecoming. I had lymphoma and they cured that. I am very thankful for this cancer center. Unleash the beast in the ultimate giveaway at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. Earn entries now through June 28th for your chance to win a new Ford Bronco Raptor. Only at Spokane Tribe Resort and Casino. You just win here. Next ET. I'm Rob Lowe. And I'm his son, John Owen. And we are spilling the ET. The lowdown on their father-son dynamic. No, have you met me? Next ET. Tonight at a special time. More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. All right, welcome back. We've had uh, a little bit of change in our weather. Yeah, some wind out there, Chris. Uh, yes, things have quieted down tonight, but the winds will be back tomorrow. But first, let's look at our morning lows. It is going to be a warm night across the region. Kick those blankets off and open the windows. 55 for an overnight low in Spokane. 56 tomorrow morning in Coeur d'Alene. Your Tuesday forecast 
plenty of sunshine and relatively calm to start the day. Winds will already start picking up just a little bit by 9 a.m. 12 mile per hour winds. By noon, we'll be looking at winds in the 15 mile per hour range, but gusts will already be up to 25 and then the winds really pick up between around 3 and 5. That's when we may see those uh, th uh, 35 mile per hour gusts at high of 83 is more than 10 degrees above average, and it is going to be warm throughout the entire region, including in the 90s in Lewiston, 80 in Moscow and Pullman, as well as Coeur d'Alene and Bonners Ferry and Colville. Lots of folks in the 80s club tomorrow, but we're dropping into the 70s for Wednesday and the 60s for the weekend. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Put the toilet seat down. <laughs> Why is that hard? Next live, EO James from The Gentleman plus Adina Menzel. Watch live tomorrow at 9, right after GMA. Considering selling your RV, R&R wants it. Tired of paying storage fees? R&R needs it. Just don't use it anymore? R&R will buy it. Due to a critical shortage of pre-owned RVs, R&R RV is currently paying our absolute top dollar for your used RV. Any year, any make, any model, turn your RV into cash or flip it for a newer model. So if you no longer use it or want it, let R&R RV buy it. Visit the R&R RV Superstore in North Spokane or call Ryan at 509-244-5888. Researching childhood vaccines often feels like this. When T lymphocytes recognize antigens. They are lying to us. Vaccines are just another plot to make money. The most important thing parents should know about vaccines is. Accept my cookies. Sign up for the newsletter. Sorry. You've reached your free article limit. There's a simpler way to get answers. Visit vaccinesmartwa.org. Kick off your summer with an unbeatable deal from Pape Machinery. For a limited time, take home a John Deere 1023E compact utility tractor with a 120E loader for just $199 per month. Customize the tractor of your dreams with hundreds of in-stock implements, all available at great prices. Don't miss out on this opportunity to transform your property's potential at an unbeatable value. Visit your local Pape Machinery Yag and Turf store today. Offer in soon. With local utility rebates and massive tax credits available, it's now possible to upgrade to a heat pump for less than a traditional air conditioner. Heat pumps are far more efficient than air conditioners when it comes to heating and cooling your home. Get year-round comfort with higher efficiency, all while lowering your monthly utility bills. So don't be fooled into buying outdated air conditioning technology. Upgrade to a heat pump. The smart choice for smart homeowners. Call Bills Heating and AC today for your free estimate. The ECU wants to help you celebrate your dad this June with the fantastic Father's Day contest. Send us a photo of your father and tell us the impact he's had on your life. He'll be entered for a chance to win a $75 gift card to Agers Meats. Fantastic Fathers, brought to you by BECU. Well, coming up tonight on Nightside, City Council just decided where more American Rescue Plan dollars will go moving forward. The areas that will soon have more funding tonight at 11. All right. Thanks so much for being with us here on this special edition of 4 News Now. See you at 11 for Nightside.